Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Al and today we're gonna do something a little bit different because I wanted to build today and what's this you say? This is a build challenge by the one and only Plumbella. Yes, Plumbella created a build challenge all her own and it's called the most devilish build challenge yet and it is indeed that. Some other people have tried it, James Turner, Sid Mac, Karen and Connie, all those people so we're gonna do it too because i hate myself apparently just kidding but anyway this is the the the, the sites very simple love that and we're gonna randomize and see how awful our lives are gonna be so here we go and go it says the building style of your house is art deco and your color themes will be blue yellow and brown okay it will have two floors and nine rooms your budget for this build is 38 1,824 simoleons exactly. It houses seven sims. Dang. Okay. Your disadvantage for this build is you must build on the smallest lot. Good luck, babe. XOXO Plumbella. What's the style? Exactly. Interesting. So, like, very modern. Lots of curved walls, I see, except for this one. All right. Well, that looks interesting. Doable, I guess. It's not as bad as some other people have gotten. I do have to make it very small, though. At least there's two floors, and at least we have a couple colors to work with blue yellow and brown doesn't sound too bad i don't see a lot of colors in these houses they're like all white okay we are in game here in the beautiful world of copperdale and the lot i'm going to be building on today is the lasuli point lot and it is 20 by 15 which is the smallest lot size in the game and wouldn't this be a wonderful place for a weird modern art deco home i think so you got a wonderful view over here the first thing i have to do is set my budget to exactly 38 thousand eight hundred and twenty four simoleons and no more let's do this oh god where do i start i am gonna start with a box <laughs> and might have to make these smaller in the end depending on budget so i also see a lot of like rounded rooms and stuff so maybe we'll try that even though they're glitchy as heck can maybe make it work we'll see we'll see right 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 so maybe like bump out and stuff and then oh my god this is supposed to hold seven sims do pets count like because you could just do that you know <laughs> okay i'm just gonna copy these pieces and put them on top to make my second floor copy this for now as well and i guess i'll copy this okay if i could bring this out a little more that'd be nice i want to make some sort of balcony or something so let's go here yeah i don't know how to build Oh god, how do I build things? Yeah, okay. Now I just have to <laughs> draw my walls back in here. Excuse me, sorry. Okay, and then <laughs> we have to make this wider. Oh, f why don't I have a ceiling? Oh no, a missing wall. Okay, so like here's a little teeny tiny kind of shape that I have so far. For roofing, I think I'm going to use platforms because all of these houses have like flat roofs and stuff. So I might have to use a rounded platform here and make this work for me. Let's see. Yeah. But I think I want it coming like have a lip kind of. Oh, maybe not that much. And then we can make it like thick. Stretch that all the way back. Put another one here. For a balcony, we could put another rounded platform above it like this, perhaps. So we have something like this. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe another piece here. Maybe we'll have like another balcony here. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> ah. <laughs> maybe this should be rounded as well. Okay, so something like that maybe. Does that look better? Yeah, something like that okay we've used a few thousand of our budget here but we gotta delete some walls inside and such i don't want to go too much bigger even though it has to fit a lot of sims how big is this oh uh, boy well uh, mm. we could just bring this out farther 
Okay, so here's what I have so far. It is, it's something. It's interesting, it's interesting. So we have like a couple of balconies over here and a platform roof and some bump outs to make it interesting. This might be our front entrance. And I do wanna like raise this house up on a foundation. One thing about this though is I might need it to be larger. We are gonna knock that down and perhaps put a door here for our colors blue yellow and brown <laughs> so i think i'll probably do like a couple different browns for the outside i looked up like brown art deco house to see what wallpaper there is so let's try this one this one is from horse ranch hi seagull hello and then the other thing they use is like a chocolate brown um you know that one maybe could work I don't love it. I want it darker, I think. Maybe, but it's like metal almost. One eternity later. Okay, this is what I have so far. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? Mm, no. <laughs> now I'm looking at platform trims and I really just want it to be matching with this, but of course we can't have that. So I was thinking just this black trim, but I kind of hate the top part. I don't know. Is it ugly? Yeah. Do I care that much? No. So I might just do it and I'm taking liberties with this color palette, okay? Because the house is mostly brown and we can have black trim. All right, let's do a door and windows. We're gonna have to do, is there one tile door? Are they all two tiles? Am I stupid? Yes, the answer is yes. Oh no, there's one tile. Okay. <laughs> We could do something like this. This is pretty cheap, $50, I mean, sure. Okay, and then windows. I was thinking the eco lifestyle windows, at least this one is pretty cheap, it's $20. Oh, of course they don't work on the freaking rounded walls. Which ones do? Oh, they're all ugly. Cool. Really though, I can't, I can't do that. I mean, we could go crazy and do something like that. How much is this? 65? Um, those aren't supported. You lie. You're a liar. Those aren't either. You lie. Why? We're gonna have to do these. Poopy poo poo poopy pants. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. What is this? What is this? Why am I in a sp Spiky star. I kind of hate it. Uh, no windows for you. This is the escape window. That looks like a city apartment building, and I also hate it. It is on a wall. Uh, <laughs> Oh, now you want to work. Oh, these work now. Okay, we're doing this. It's all I wanted. This is all I wanted. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? Fences and how much of a pain in my butt these are gonna be. I mean, I'd be good with this. Okay, okay, she worked, she worked. I don't hate it. I wish the silver parts were brown, but there's this one from Get To Together. Put that on there for now. I might change it, but it's fine. Now, doors for out here. Why is this so hard? All right, we're using this for now. It's from Base Game and it's freaking expensive and I'm buying two of them. Okay, kind of weird, but I'm gonna put that window there just because, I don't know, it makes a statement, I guess. And then I put one back here. Maybe that could be our, like, our kitchen with cabinets underneath. And then up here, I'm just going to do a couple of these ones, probably. The tripane window. We got a face. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then, not that I think we necessarily, like, need columns to support this, but let me just see what it would look like. Does that look stupid or does it make sense? What is our deco? <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Whatever, let's do that for now. And then flooring. Let's um take this time to bring some more brown in. Okay, this one from Eco Lifestyle I think matches a tiny bit better. And then we could do brown. Wow. 
black that would get so hot i don't know i think we need not any more black i like these metals i didn't want to go black but like this one is kind of like a brown swatch and it's interesting because it's got just different textures to it and stuff and look at it got that like shine which is kind of fun all right so here's what we got i like it i like it it's quite in industrial i don't know if it's like super art deco anymore <laughs> but i think it's cool i have not built something like that before so you know that's what it's all about okay i'm gonna do some quick landscaping and then i'll come back and we'll do the inside hi welcome to voice over me for a few minutes here the first thing that i did was take some terrain paint and i made like this path coming off of the entrance with some dirt and then i put the gravel terrain paint down Ooh, fancy and i just played with that for a little bit put some more dirt dirt on the side and then I took these stone rugs and lined them up all the way down the path so I don't know just add something makes it look better <laughs> and then I added some more because I was trying to space them out evenly and then I opened debug and I did a bunch of debug landscaping because I didn't know how much money that I was gonna use so I decided to just do it all for free and I pulled these planters out of debug as well I thought they were really cute to line the house with so I just raised up some like wild flowers also from debug and put them in there and I used different colors and stuff did that for all of them and I think it looks it looks pretty cute then I was just playing with the tree placement. I put this little like circle garden bed thing around one of them and filled that up with some debug grasses and like wildflowers again and stuff like that. So it looked a little overgrown, more natural. And then I just put some grasses around the yard as well and a bunch of bushes by this other tree. So they're all like kind of like scraggly and natural and just kind of filled up that little corner with stuff. I found Found these planters for the front of the house and for the back of the house I shrunk those down and then I covered up the white bottom with a bunch of bushes because I didn't like it and now I'm lining the front path with these daisy bushes as well again from debug it's all free and these lights are also from debug too and I just put them in like every spot along there evenly and then the lights are gonna go in between each bush and I think it looks very well taken care of and fancy and nice and then I took some wildflowers and some more bushes and just started putting those in empty corners and just filling around the house. I also used the same terrain paint to make this kind of back porch area. It's not really a porch, but I, just like a place to sit with some chairs from little campers kits and a table, I believe, from base game. So it's a nice little area with some debug string lights back there too. So the front of the house, I made this little like wildflower garden and I do fill this out more later but I did put some like more colorful flowers in there as well just to try to fill up any gaps and stuff like that and then I took my dirt terrain paint again and I just put it under literally everything this is something that a lot of people do to make their builds look more natural I think it's really helpful to just make the plants look more grounded and like they've been there for a while and just make it look like the garden is a garden <laughs> and I put some dirt underneath the flower bed and also under this area with all of the trees and the bushes okay here we are just put some trees some bushes all the way around I mean you saw it you saw it that's gonna be the landscaping so cute so cute now we can go inside oh boy okay so this house has to have nine different rooms so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I hope I don't have to make it bigger because then I'm going to move all my landscaping. We have spent about 7,000, so we're looking okay. I guess let's do the floor plan first and then I can start with like the essentials and whatnot. So I guess I will block that off. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. I guess we could go like that. That could be like a bathroom. Um, this? What is that going to be? A bedroom? Where's the stairs going to go? We might have to put a ladder in. <laughs> Where's the double bed even going to fit in this one? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. We need three more rooms. This is ridiculous. Can I do a four by four bathroom? Front entryway. What other room do you want from me? Uh, do these count as rooms? These these balconies? <laughs> I mean, technically they do. Does that count? Will anyone get mad at me if, if, if I count the balconies as rooms? And then I can maybe open up this. So this is at least all one. This is one and this is a bathroom. Three, four, five up here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we do that? Can we do that? I think, I mean, I... Mm -mm. And then I'm not gonna count these as rooms, obviously, even though they like technically are, but they're pillars. Okay, they're pillars for the front door. Okay, so there is the floor plan. We'll have like kitchen, living room, entryway, sunroom, or this maybe this can kind of be the living room, bathroom. Upstairs we'll have bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, and then since it has to be for seven sims, I feel like pets could count. We could have like a baby and then like a couple kids sharing room and then the parents or something like that. So let's just see if I put stairs and I don't even think I'm gonna have room so I'm probably gonna have to do ladder. I don't know where yet, but I should probably put it down just so I remember to put it somewhere. And then I also wanted to look up Art Deco interior just so I have like a jumping off point. It's very like 1920s. If we filtered items. Okay, yeah, so like this kind of stuff for sure. So any of this stuff I guess would be free game then, yeah? It looks like the only kitchen I'm getting is this. No, not the realm of magic. Well, let me just like put down the essentials. Oh yeah, shoot, what is our color scheme again? Blue, yellow, brown. Okay, there is a blue one. So would you classify these as brown, tan? I don't know, there's also these ones. What swatch even goes with this fridge? Like, hello? I hate it all. Okay, let's just stick with that for now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll come back to it. These are my only Art Deco floors. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> Maybe we stick with Realm of Magic just so it's like cohesive. It's getting difficult. So we have this break. Actually, that's not terrible. I mean, the black windows. <laughs> we could change them to brown. Let me just see what that would look like. And that's like blue. I mean, I don't hate it. And then this doesn't come, I mean, it comes in blue. I mean, it kind of ties in with the window now. That is the color scheme. It really is. It's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I mean, it's all neutrals and then blue. Let's just, let's just go with it for now. Let's just see what happens. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna do a more modern arch on this, kind of like we did Art Deco on the outside, but it's got like modern windows, you know? Then we can pull the blue back in. We could put a matching one. All right, not my personal style, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so the only stove I have is this one. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. That one kind of matches, at least. Okay, for dining tables, I'm seeing a lot of the Scandinavian mid-century modern style even for Art Deco. Yeah, like this maybe. Going for the gray-blue, I guess. And then for the chairs, so there's these possibly, and we could do something like that. But it's like such a contrast between <laughs> the kitchen, which is very like elaborate Art Deco. I mean, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do these ones. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Mmm, this one might be cute under here. So we're gonna put that little rug there just to break up the floor a bit. And we're at 23,000. So before I like clutter and go crazy with the decorations, let me continue on with the essentials. And then we'll come back to this room after that. I love this floor. I don't know if it's Art Deco, but I have seen some like herringbone pattern kind of thing and it's kind of like that as for wallpaper i love like the deep turquoise like this but we can try it i'm, I'm just i'm just going all out we haven't done much yellow if any it's more like beige brown and blue so we'll have to put some accents of yellow in there somewhere yo oh my gosh that's actually 
cute. I don't know if it's very art deco, but you know, we could do definitely more seating, but like what else? Well, we could maybe do a TV, like a little table. Oh, that one's not bad. And then we could put like a little TV on it. Yellow and brown, guys. Yellow and brown. Gosh, this one's still a thousand dollars. Okay, I will get this one for now. And if it comes to I need to save some money, I will change that. It's not terrible. I would add obviously some plants and stuff. Okay, so essentials. Let's go into the bathroom. I just put this rug in here because I thought it was cool. I don't know. And it was part of the art deco. We also need some lights. So maybe let's do that. <laughs> we'll put that light there. We size of that one down one. And then maybe we also size that one down and then do two of them. So we're probably going to be using some high school years stuff here. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that with the floor and the yellow. Oh yeah, peacock sink? No, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this can probably only be a sink and toilet, obviously. Wow, realm of magic art deco toilet. That is for sure. I don't think we need to go this intense. Let's let go of the art deco for a second and just get like a cheap toilet. I doubt that's gonna be functional or we might have to just do that, unfortunately. I really do like this tile in here though. I might go up and add it to this bathroom as well as the flooring, because I really like this flooring. Gonna bring up the essentials to the upstairs and see how far that sets me back with the budget, because I also need doors. We just put wallpaper and flooring in everywhere. I'm, I might change it. And then let's get some beds because we definitely need beds. And I don't need all these rugs, so I'll delete some of those. And we need a shower. So this is my only art deco shower, this one, which is pretty fancy. Okay, we're clipping with the window a tiny bit. <laughs> Um, unless you want to shower to the whole freaking world. All right, we're gonna have to do probably this double bed. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. May have to make this one the master, even though that's still a freaking squeeze. Oh my god. We could do that too. Then you got like two doors on the end. Actually, that might work because then we could put a bed here facing this way. Oh my god, am I gonna do that? <laughs> We have like a toddler and an infant in the room with the parents. Okay, so I pretty much have my essentials. We still have $14,000, which is pretty dang good. So I can go and probably do all the decorations that I want. And if I still have leftover money, I could probably spend it outside and get rid of some of the debug stuff and do actual landscaping that costs money. Our seven sims that we have to have are going to be the two parents, an infant, a newborn, two kids, and then one small dog <laughs> which I put their food and stuff over here oh yeah I also have to get stuff for the balconies too because those count as rooms we do not have room for a bathtub so they're gonna have to clean their younger kids in the sink let's start down stairs and clutter up like the kitchen and stuff I also have a trash can here I do need to put one outside I'm gonna give them I don't know who them is but whoever lives here a kitchen mat and then this counter is gonna be like for prep and stuff and then I'm gonna kind of clutter over here I think okay after cluttering for a bajillion hours <laughs> not really but this is what I have for the kitchen I'll just quickly show you the decorations we have some shelving up here but just stuff on the counter some stuff in the windowsill and then we have some stuff on the table some art and then I also added a high chair over here for the babies I also went ahead and just added some stuff into like the entryway here as well and then I am starting on the living room so I did add a few pieces of art and working on like this little table here I'm gonna add some plants and stuff and then we will move on to the bathroom okay so that's the living room I think done I just added a few plants and that's pretty much it so now I'm gonna move on to the bathroom and I'll show you in a second here we go very simple I just added towel toothbrush soap 
toilet paper and a mirror on the side and that is all I'm going to do for this downstairs little bathroom. So I think the downstairs is pretty much done. Looking good. This is turning out way better than when we started with the kitchen. It was a little ugly but anyway let's go upstairs. <laughs> okay so I was just placing some things. I'm gonna decorate this kind of kiddish obviously. It is kind of awkward that you have to come up here and go through their room to like get to the bathroom or the parents room but you yeah, know it's a small house it's whatever so let's do this one and then i'll probably also do the two balconies as well and we have about almost nine thousand simoleons left we can totally do that okay so this is what i did for the kids room i think it turned out really cute it's a little squishy to get in here but yeah we have our bunk beds some clutter on the table some kids artwork we got a bigfoot blarfy over here i shoved in a little wardrobe for them and then if you go out this door to this balcony this is kind of like the adult side <laughs> so we have these really cute art deco lamps some lounge chairs and some drinks and then if you go out this door this is kind of like the little kids balcony they just have like a radio some toys some books and then a toy box out here then i'm gonna try to do this bathroom even though this is annoying but whatever i will show you after that is done all right for the bathroom again a little hard to get in here we did the same sink and toilet same toothbrush so put these lights up here with this mirror some towels and we got just some toys to entertain the kids maybe while potty training we got the toddler potty over here with a diaper trash can and some decor i found these star lights and i was like oh yeah so i put these up in the kids room we have 2436 to spend unless i forgot something but i'm just gonna make a little play area maybe like a little rocking chair or something over here i do need a dresser don't know where that's gonna go yet but i'll figure it out so let's look at the parents room so cluttered so baby we have this lovely avant-garde bed light picture dresser and then we have lovely yellow curtains with our blue and brown theme and we got some baby stuff over here i hopefully sims can get through there i'm gonna have to play test this place for our newborn place for our infant and yeah that is a about it for that the other thing i did was add light switches to literally every room to try to get the money down a little bit i'm actually like needing to get rid of it now so i updated this a little bit more i just made a little campfire spot thought it was cute but i have 576 dollars still i guess we can put another one of these down okay so let's go to landscaping maybe bushes we could add Add some of this I just need some height over here also you can't see the furniture in through the rounded window so that's fun. 500 okay we could replace these scraggly hedges with that one instead I guess I guess I can replace these should I replace all of these rotate them a bit as we put them down I could have made this house bigger is what I could have done. So here we are. All right, we still have money. We could add, oh, sunflowers. We could put some sunflowers in the little beds here. I think that would be really cute. They're yellow. 116. Dull daisies are my favorite kind of daisy. I guess we can fill this out more. It'll add to the fullness of our garden. Ooh, 76, 76, 76, 16 um i can delete a sunflower and then put my grass here yes okay now i have 21 wait is anything one dollar maybe that grass was a bad idea wait isn't the sunscreen weird price okay so if i can put this out there for the adults i don't know if that helped at all I can afford some scratches. Nope, they're zero dollars. That won't help me. <laughs> Paws on the wall. Those are one dollar. So I could do like three of them. Do I hate it? Kind of. <laughs> What else can I get? A water bottle's 10. A journal's 10. I guess let's do a water bottle. Boom. Exact number completed. Now I'm done. That's cute as fuck. Seagull. 
Ugh. I like it. I like how I changed the black windows. I think that worked in the end and getting those like pops of blue and then it follows the rules even more. So the building style of your house is art deco. Check I guess. Um, according to my research, yes. Your color themes will be blue, yellow, and brown. Yes, I think we definitely stuck to that. There's blue and brown on the outside and then yellow is more on the inside. It will have two floors check and nine rooms check if you count the balconies as rooms. Your budget for this build is 38,824 simoleons exactly. We did that. It houses seven sims and my disadvantage for this build is that you must build on the smallest lot which is 20 by 15. We have completed the challenge. Is it functional? That remains to be seen. <laughs> I guess I can bring my sim self back over here and check it out. Let's do it. Here I come. All right, so I got inside. Can I climb up the ladder? Yes. Can you come over here? No. <laughs> The little diaper thing is in the way, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this build challenge video of Plumbellas. Here I go, watching some TV in the beautiful living room. It took me forever, but it was really fun. I think I got it in a pretty good place. It's pretty cute, especially this little kids area. I've never built in this style before or like this shape of house or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving the video a like, leaving a comment, all of that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!